Let's take a look how well Tesla FSD, Tesla Full Self Driving, goes around the cyclist and jogger. And also in this video, I'm going to talk about Elon Musk thanking the full um, self-driving Tesla uh, beta users and a couple of in other information about Tesla FSD. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So Drive Tesla uh, Canada shared an interesting video by Kim Paquette who uh, shows how well he her Tesla full self-driving goes around a cyclist and jogger and it's it's really interesting. Let's take a look at that first. Car, bike, okay, our turn. All right, let's see how it does with this cyclist because Oh, it's steering clear of the cyclist over the yellow line. Wow. Okay, now get back over. All right, well, that was that was pretty good because current autopilot, um, when I do this road on, on regular, uh, the, re the current version of auto autopilot, it doesn't want to cross that yellow line like if there's a pedestrian or a cyclist, which is common on this road. Like, here's another, here's a, a jogger. So let's see what it does here. Oh, it's doing it again. It's avoiding the... So Kim, thank you very much for this video, for sharing this on your Twitter. Everyone, you can see Kim's uh, Twitter link in the description of this video. And as you see, Tesla, actually, I'm going to talk about the improvements of uh, full self-driving in a little bit. But in the meantime, I also wanted to let you know that Elon Musk has extended his thanks to Tesla owners who received the company's limited full self-driving beta last week. The information Tesla is gathering from early access efforts FSD beta testers will be invaluable as the company's AI team continues to enhance and refine the electric vehicle automakers auto autonomous driving software, writes Tesla Radi. And this is only one day, a couple of days after reports surfaced that Tesla was calling to FSD beta testers, some of them, not probably all of them, are saying, hey, be careful, don't do foolish things because, you know, we're gathering the live data and if you do risky and unsafe things, we will remove you from the beta testing. So here's what happened. Um, James Locke on Twitter wrote, like, huge thanks to you, Elon Musk and Tesla, allowing beta testers for FSD to share the experience. Elon Musk is the content being shared by early access FSD testers going well in your view? Is there anything you'd like us to do differently? Uh, James wrote and Elon Musk tweeted back saying yes, very helpful. Thanks all beta testers. Uh, Maria Merano wrote that on Twitter, Tesla Radi that last week Musk announced that Tesla plans to roll out the full self-driving beta to the general public uh, later this year. Tesla will need all the information it can get to make sure that the full release of the um, full self-driving beta goes smoothly. Uh, we have seen videos uh, of full self-driving videos and other content early beta testers have shared recently reveal how much more intuitive and human-like FSD responds to its environment while on the road, like you just saw in the video um, about how it responds to a jogger and a cyclist. By far the most impressive details of Tesla full self-driving beta would be how fast it improves. That's going to be really something uh, uh, big. Uh, Tesla enthusiast and part-time uh, comedy act Holmars, uh, Holmars Block talked about FSD betas quick growth on Twitter uh, saying the Tesla owner's first impression of FSD beta was that he operated like a, a very good car and not long after the Tesla enthusiast tweeted, the FSD beta are improving shockingly fast. It almost seems like someone is fixing issues on the fly and the time between builds is very short. His recent assessment of Tesla full self-driving beta suggests that the capabilities of the system are quite literally growing right in front of our eyes. And Elon Musk's gracious thanks, um, uh, Elon Elon Musk's gracious thank you to early access beta testers of FSD highlights the role of consumers 
uh, play in Tesla's quick software improvement. After all, the more data, uh, data beta testers feed to FSD and the AI autopilot team, the better the autonomous driving software will be in the near future. Um, in fact, uh, Holmar's catalog wrote on his Twitter account, the FSD betas are improving shockingly fast. It almost seems like someone is fixing issues on the fly and the time between new builds is very short. Um, I just reported that Tesla plans to release it to more um, uh, wider public and I think reports came yesterday and this morning that Tesla is opening up the FSD to more states. Uh, currently, Tesla has gathered the most real-world data for autonomous driving. Tesla's director of AI, Andre Karpati, revealed that the company has gathered up to 3 billion miles of real-world data from its fleet as of February 2020, noted Lex Friedman in a story. Um, in comparison, Waymo has gathered 20 million real-world miles as of date. Uh, Waymo is one of Tesla's biggest competitors in autonomous vehicles, and it's already considered as one of the leaders in self-driving technology. It's needless to say that va vast difference in the company's real-world data is striking, uh, notes Tesla Radi. Tesla owners can and be credited for the billion miles worth of data the company has collected for FSD. Each and every Tesla on the road right now gathers bits of information that will help Carpati and the company um, this AI team polish full cell driving. Maria Marano on Tesla Radio also writes that before any full cell driving updates are released by Tesla to the entire Tesla fleet, however, it must be refined. Hence, the importance of early access beta testers. The information they share via YouTube, Twitter, etc. and feed the Tesla, the more refined FSD beta will be once it rolls out to general public. Um, it um, it looks like at this point Tesla FSD can basically handle the most people's daily route. Obviously, there is plenty of room for improvement from driving smoothness to more precise and confident decision making. Is this also your impression, friends? If yes, let me know, please. Um, here is one question I would like to ask our community. I would uh, uh, couldn't. Uh, I couldn't tell in the in the speed up videos, but has anyone show how the FSD reacts in a left turn without a left turn arrow? For example, in northern states, uh, generally speaking, on a green, when turning left, one would nudge the front to the intersection, getting ready to make a left as soon as uh, oncoming traffic is free. But here in South, where I live in North Carolina, for example, and also I heard here in Tennessee, you stay put and wait for free oncoming traffic as left turn arrows are in about 95% of traffic lights in Tennessee. Uh, so this is not the case in northern states. I also saw someone asking this in Reddit and in the northeast, um, my driver license was from New York originally. Um, my driver's education class told us you always go out onto the intersection entire car and when the uh, light turns red it's perfect fine to turn once on upcoming traffic stops this is different at intersections that are marked with signs saying oncoming traffic has extended green but uh, this may be different in another state i wonder if tesla um, will have some regional specific driving habits until more cars are full self-driving uh, do you guys have any thoughts on this and yes and also some states such as washington state apparently does not allow right turn on red so will tesla full self-driving know this curious if anyone in states that do not allow right turn on red is testing the full self-driving beta if you are in a state where it doesn't allow right turn on uh, red please uh, let us know what your thoughts are and what your experience has been with tesla full self-driving you know when i'm watching tesla's full self-driving videos some of these videos remind me of a human driving for the first time like it definitely makes mistakes that a human probably wouldn't but most of the time it just seems extra cautious because it doesn't 100 percent understand the dynamics of driving yet like a new drive 
driver but as whole tesla um, catalog uh, twitter account said looks like tesla is fixing uh, the fsd on the fly and shockingly fast improvements overall i'm so impressed with all of these videos so far plenty of work to go on full self-driving um, but now they really have something special here i think tesla really has something special here to present it is easy to see the future iteration will be superior to human drivers everyone please be careful as you are testing it think about people on the road uh, that are in different cars in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story have a wonderful rest of the day peace be with all of you and god bless you all see you soon in our next story